Hi, I'm Courtney McQuaid with Markets Group here at our 10th anniversary Alt Sale Day event. With me is the one and only Kathy Wood, CIO and founder of ARK Invest. Kathy, it's so great to see you again. Hi, Courtney. Great to see you again, too. Thank you. So we spoke one year ago about AI and how it might impact people in general and our industry. Now it's here. What are your thoughts? What have you seen? Well, I think a lot more people understand what we're talking about now. In their personal lives, ChatGPT, if you're using Grok3, um, Perplexity, there are lots of tools we can use now. So uh, I think more people understand. Uh, in terms of investing, you know, I'm hearing people say, yeah, but what are the applications? You know, we're, you know, we're spending all this money on data centers, but where's the real money gonna come? We think the biggest AI project on earth is robo-taxis, autonomous taxi platforms, and they're gonna roll out increasingly. I see them, I see Waymo around LA here. Waymo's geofenced. Tesla ultimately will not be geofenced. So uh, we think that's the largest AI project in the world. And then maybe the most profound AI project in the world is the convergence of sequencing technologies and life sciences, artificial intelligence, and technologies like CRISPR gene editing, uh, which are curing diseases. Think about that, curing diseases, diagnosing cancer in stage one, even pancreatic cancer, or before stage one, think polyps, colorectal cancer. So we have two huge projects that are going to transform the way we live and transform healthcare. Incredible, yeah. incredible. And Kathy, you just came off of Fireside Chat. Everybody was there. If there's one key takeaway that you hope the audience will get, what would that be? Well, besides the AI moment, uh, I think uh, we're coming to the end of what has been a rolling recession that started when the Fed started raising rates in 22, not just raising, you know, yeah. jacking yeah. up rates. <laughs> Uh, we're seeing the reverberations. They're hitting now the high-end consumer. We're seeing confidence go down. Government sectors retrenching for obvious reasons. We think this downturn is going to give this administration and the Fed many more degrees of freedom to operate, deregulate, cut taxes, cut interest rates. And if we're right, that inflation is lower than expected thanks to all of these new technologies. The future for equities, for investments generally, is, is truly bright. That's exciting, we certainly hope so. Yes. And one more question, Kathy. Yes. In honor of Women's History Month, yes. I would love to know, for any women out there looking to make a career of finance in the financial industry, or even just move up in their career, what advice would you give them? Well, I, I think the financial industry has, well, has been great to me. I've had fantastic mentors, so I, I have been blessed in many ways. Um, and I, I think that in the financial industry, and especially, especially investing on the investing side, the world is our oyster. We are paid to study the way the world is working and going to work. And so it's a very exciting, intellectually stimulating career. In terms of general advice, I would say learn more about these new technologies. Uh, uh, become expert using AI. You can do that now. And then go in there and make your bosses look brilliant. That's, that's critical. And if your bosses don't give you great opportunities to grow once you've made them look brilliant, then move on. Get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kathy, for taking the time to speak with me. My pleasure, Courtney. Great to see you. Thank you. And we're live at Alt LA.